everybody, welcome back to Your Mind is Your Superpower. Today, we're going to go over ways to beat social anxiety and start living in the present moment. Make sure to watch until the end to learn how something as simple as breathing can help. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel so we can bring you more quality informational videos on more healthy mental habits and other self-improvement topics that will help you become more successful in your life. Now let's get straight to the video. Of the many emotions we feel, every one of them can be categorized in either positive or negative. Anxiety is one emotion that tends to be put in the negative category, and social anxiety occurs when you're put into a new situation or are around many people. Put new situations and many people together, and you have the perfect storm to feed your social anxiety. Anxiety often disrupts a person's routine. It can appear out of nowhere, at any time of the day, with a little or no warning. While some have innate strong coping mechanisms, a lot of people have a hard time dealing with such issues, especially when it starts interfering with your social lifestyle. But is there a way we can control this anxiety? Yes. Yes, there is. The emotions that occur make our body go through not only physical but also mental reactions. Neuroplasticity is a term which refers to the evolution of our brain, but its definition is wider than that. The brain grows and adjusts depending on how you program it. You're the programmer, so you control it, which means you have the power over things like anxiety. This establishes the fact that one way or another, the functioning of your mind is all conscious. There are subconscious components to the mind, but if we can change and work on the conscious mind, then the subconscious takes care of itself. There's a bright side to anxiety, and I know that's hard to imagine, but stick with me. Here's one thing about it. While it's certainly a negative emotion, it occurs as a result of a positive one. To put it into simpler words, anxiety is often experienced when you're motivated about something. If you're waiting for a result for something, say a test, you feel anxious, which means you're motivated by your goals to feel the anxiety. It eventually prepares you for what's coming up next. But that's just one simple example. Anxiety can be very complicated, especially when we're talking about social anxiety and is keeping you from living your life. This is when you need to take it seriously. You need to understand what is causing the anxiety. It's like when you're in a safe place, but you sense or imagine danger all around you. Your mind spirals out of control into worst case scenarios. Your heart is racing and you start breathing heavily, almost losing your breath. Of course, that's now your mind playing games with you. However, you've been in this anxious state so much you almost forget normal, and anxiety is normal for you. And if you aren't anxious, then you get anxious about not being anxious. It can be a tough circle. Let's see how this develops through an example. For instance, if you were to try skydiving for the first time, you instantly feel scared. Now, it's important to notice that the same activity can be thrilling for some and scary for others. So, if you feel scared, your first reaction would possibly be to escape the situation. Your flight response made you feel a sense of relief, hence the next time you get into a similar situation, you'll try to avoid it again. At this stage, your anxiety about that particular situation is increased rather than managed. What this means is that avoidance leads to the worsening of anxiety. Dealing with this kind of anxiety can be done through what I call avoidance of the avoidance. In other words, you need to stop avoiding situations that are primarily safe, but your brain plays tricks on you, telling you all the things that can go wrong. But it doesn't just happen right away. You can't just tell your mind to stop escaping such situations and poof, you're cured. That's not how it works. The best way to work through anxiety is to break it down into smaller, more manageable steps. One step at a time is the key. Think about all the things you can do to get through a social anxiety situation and start with the easiest one first. Leaving a tough situation should perhaps be your last option. This will help you face the situation rather than flee from it. Let's say you're starting to get ready to go to an event and you start feeling anxious. First step is to stay present. Focus on the shower you're taking, then focus on drying off after the shower, then focus on getting dressed. You get the picture. Really force your mind to focus on what it is you're doing. As you arrive at the event, Focus on your breath. Count your breaths before going into the event and while you're walking into the event. Before you know it, you're in this place where anxiety usually grabs hold of you and you've worked through it. This is how you'll train your brain to change in socially anxious situations. 
Another thing to try if you're in a social situation and are becoming anxious is to focus on something other than yourself. Joe Navarro, a former FBI agent, wrote a book titled What Everybody is Saying. In the book, he highlights certain aspects of body language which not only he learned, but also applied to his work. He speaks of how body language can help you read people, but how does it link up with anxiety issues? Well, when you're focusing on other people, and what perhaps their body language is saying, you become less aware about yourself. That being said, reading people's body language doesn't in any way mean that you're judging them by it. It simply means you're pulling focus from yourself. Have you ever just sat and people watched? It's like that, observing others. And if you don't want to read people, try and find other things to focus on, like the lights, the flowers, the weather, anything else to get out of your own head. Another thing to do to beat social anxiety is to work on your social skills as much as you can. You don't need to stress yourself about being social. All you need to do is try out what works best for you. Coming up with a way to introduce yourself or questions you may ask people. Having a script in your head can sometimes put you at ease. You don't need to change yourself. In fact, try being in your comfort zone as much as you possibly can. Go places you feel like you fit in and get used to being social in a place that's easy for you. Going to a place that just has a soothing environment is a good idea, even if you go alone and don't talk to anyone. Be around people and just be. For instance, a coffee shop can be a great place to just go, get a coffee and just sit. Listen to a podcast or read a book. It's a chance to feel comfortable around other people and in an unfamiliar space. Its effect on your body and mind can channel positive vibes which will in turn reduce anxiety levels. Social anxiety often results due to insecurities. Defeat insecurities by working on them. Meditation, affirmations, and therapy are all great options for changing our mindset about ourselves. I know that I wake up every morning and go to bed every evening telling myself, I love you and you're going to have a great day, or you did great things today, sleep well. Even something that simple becomes subconscious and changes your whole outlook on things. You can also try breathing exercises because they help a lot. Just sit down, get settled, and take a deep, slow breath and hold for four seconds. Then exhale gradually, pushing out as much air as you can. Take another full breath, filling the stomach with air, and proceed until you feel your breath easing back down to its typical rate. Whenever you feel like panicking, the quickest thing you can do is to stop and do some deep breathing like this. Various studies have shown that confronting fear can greatly reduce anxiety levels. That being said, if the social anxiety is severe, then seeking treatment with a professional is your best option. Exposure to the thing causing anxiety should be gradual in extreme cases. Defeating social anxiety can be a long journey, and it takes effort for new neural pathways to form. But if you have a plan and know how to manage your anxiety, you can make great strides to beat it. Thanks for watching the video, guys, and don't forget to press the like button. Also, I would love it if you would subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more quality informational videos on healthy mental habits and other self improvement topics that will help you become more successful in your life. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.